Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Habana West Organic Farm. Um, thank you so much for coming back, for watching my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing. And those who are still new, please, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Please, let's move this channel to 10K subscribers and I'll be so excited. Today we are looking at something really very important and that is vaccination of all typhoid today we are going to do our vaccination and i wanted us to learn something brief before we start on the activity this fall typhoid vaccination is really very important in this project because when these birds get this disease uh it is really it is really very bad you can end up losing your all your all flock and i want all the beginners out there to know that some of these things you have to learn doing them by yourself however you might be you might put workers to do that to do the work for you but during vaccination i always advise that a farmer must be present to do this vaccination by themselves because if you live in the hands of workers you may not know if they have done the right thing or they have not done if they have not done the right thing and this vaccination in particular is really so delicate in a way that if you give the birds overdose you can end up losing your bird instantly and if you again give them underdose this full typhoid can end up attacking your attacking your farm uh like if uh if you see at our topic today i i, I ask myself that uh what is the right dose of this of this vaccine because uh me from the time i started this project i've always given my birds a half a meal of the dose but uh, i've seen so many other people say that you give one meal of the of the vaccine so i really want uh your opinion in the comment section there those ones who have done this project be, uh, the, who have done this project before tell me what is the right dose because for me always i use a half a meal of the vaccine and i remember when i went to purchase this 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 vaccine uh when i entered the first pharmacy that is here in uganda in town I remember, by the way, that person was going to rob me because I asked for the price and he told me for 500 birds, you always, uh, it is 80,000 Ugandan shillings. But me, I knew the price. So they even didn't have the vaccine and he told me, sit and wait, I'm calling the person to bring the vaccine. Then I asked him, uh, what is the dose? And he told me, one meal per bird. I said one meal per bird because me, I know it is a half a meal per bird. The guy told me, you know what? It is one meal per bird. But um, I didn't want to be robbed because that was a very high price for me. I told you, you know what? I'm going to come back. Let me first withdraw some money. Then I come back. So when I went to the next pharmacy, I asked the price and it was at 50,000 Ugandan shillings. And that was a difference of 30,000 Ugandan shillings, which is a lot of money for a farmer out there. And when I asked again there for the dosage, they told me, it is a half a mil per bird. But I told this gentleman, I said, a half a mil per bird or is a one mil per bird? And the gentleman told me it is a half a mil per bird. I, then I told him, there are some people who tell us it is one mil per bird. Then he told me, for us here, we recommend a half a mil per bird. And this is also an expert, by the way. So I want to know your opinion in the comment section because someone who is new wants to know the right the right dose of this vaccine but me has cc i've always given a half a meal per but from the first time i started this project i used to consult so many veterinary doctors and they could tell me it is a half a meal per but so please I really don't know which is the right the right dose but me i've always given a half a meal per bird so i decided to buy the vaccine and um we are going to do the vaccination today but also i want you to know that when you're doing vaccination i've always told you this i think it's not the first time i'm telling you make sure that your buds are free from any antibiotics okay because they can stop this vaccine from functioning well Birds must not be on any antibiotics. Birds must be well fed. Birds must be having enough drinking water. Also, birds must be, be must be free from from any kind of stress. Okay, birds that are free from stress, and also birds should be free from any kind of sicknesses. If your birds are sick, maybe they are having cough. Maybe they are having they are having um, diarrhea. Maybe they are having coccidiosis. Please do not do not vaccinate those birds and vaccination is always best done early in the morning or late in the evening i always do it late in the evening but today 
actually i'm even doing it a bit late because it's already nine and that's when i'm starting to do the vaccination uh because in the evening actually i have a patient to go and visit in the hospital and that makes me know to do it in the evening so make sure you always do your vaccination early in the morning or late in the evening and then as a, a beginner please always learn to do this vaccination by yourself so right now we are just going to partition the house and then i show you the vaccine and also how to do this vaccination because it is really very important to know how you're supposed to do this vaccination we are going to do the injection on the side okay you can do at the breast or around i see i've seen some people also do it around the neck but me i've always done it on their side because at the breast i'm not very sure if i do it wrongly it may affect the organs of the of the bud so i always do it on that on their thighs okay so let me do the partitioning of the house and we get right back so please stay tuned till the end and i'll be so happy so we are now doing the partitioning of the house and my children are busy helping me to do it you see i also want my children to learn how to do farming because much as they are in school they also have to know that farming is for everyone out there okay see the birds are busy feeding so after we do the partitioning we are going to send those birds this side and uh shall send all of them this side then we just keep doing it just keep vaccinating from this side and taking them the other side okay so let me show you the vaccine as these children finish to do the partitioning okay go 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 this is the, vac the vaccine we are going to use. By the way, I prefer putting on gloves when I'm doing these vaccinations. So this is the vaccine we are going to use. So whenever you're going to buy this vaccine, make sure you first check on the expiry date. So you can see it is the expiry is long. It's coming. It's next year, and uh, it was manufactured in 2023, and it's expiring next year, 2025. Okay and uh, make sure also here is sealed but this one i've opened it already i'm the one who removed it but here it should always be should always be sealed so if you can see it is 250 ml and that is for 500 500 buds eh? so really i do not know where the one meal per bud comes from i don't know maybe there is another type of vaccine that they use one meal per bud because this one it is even written there kill clearly that 250 mils for 500 for 500 buds okay so now that we have 400 buds we do not have a particular dose for 400 buds so we are normally forced to buy for for 500 buds okay and then that means each bud is going to take a half a meal of this of this vaccine okay and then also one thing that i want you to see is the syringes eh? it is always good to use this smaller syringes so that you don't hurt your you don't hurt your buds now we are done with partitioning the house and uh one thing that you must know as a beginner when you're going to vaccinate these buds make sure that there is always someone to you see how they have accumulated themselves in that corner that is also one way that you can end up losing your buds okay so make sure someone is always there to help you separate those buds and make sure that they are not piled in one in one corner and uh, now we are finished and we are going to do the vaccination i've uh, already i'm using these syringes and each of these is going to vaccinate for four for four but because it is two meals and now uh, we are going to use half a meal per per but for us we shall use a half a meal because even in the vac the vaccine that i bought it is telling me the 250 mil goes for 500 500 buds okay so i'm going to show you how we are going to do this vaccination and now uh, we are not going to be able to see everything from the first bud up to 400 buds so i'm just going to sample a few buds and you see how we do it and uh, by the way when you're doing this vaccination you have to be brave enough okay with farming you have to be brave to do some of these things that's why i said it. you should not dedicate workers to do this vaccination you have to do it by yourself okay because this is an investment okay and since you have big dreams on it 
you have to learn how to do it by hook or by hook or crook so let me give someone to hold for me the camera has these kids bring for me the birds okay Masu, Imako, video win. angel you bring the birds you guys okay. so we are going to vaccinate on the thigh on the thigh here okay these birds have already made eight weeks and we are going to give on the on their side okay so we are going to use we said we are using a half a meal per bird and uh it's actually very painful angel give a distance so i'll just do like this You see? That is how you go for this bag. Hey. My dog is not here. My dog Mm. 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 I'll put it in the jug here because has the the vaccine must be in a cold place. Angel, don't sit there. Just stand. One by So I hope you're all seeing how we are doing the vaccination. It's really not as easy as such. That's why uh, you really have to be very careful with this bird and very patient. And you have to look, make sure you're looking on the dose you're giving. The birds. Okay. And uh, the, when you're doing the vaccination, don't don't put the shrink like this. Make sure you always put it straight like this, okay? 
first open it and do like this. This is how you do it. Too many. So always don't put like this. Like this. Always put straight. Like this. So we are going to continue with our vaccination mm. and when we are done and then now uh, shall conclude from there. Finally, we have come to the end of our vaccination and just know it was not easy. It was really tough. And actually this is full typhoid vaccination is really a tough one. And but um, especially if you're using these syringes, okay? But uh, just know that as a beginner, you have to know how to do it by yourself so that you always do it by yourself or you're always available when we are doing it. Right now, the birds are really feeling weak and I've decided to give them vitamin just to boost them. And uh, I think by tomorrow or the other, the next day, they will be okay. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something. Please drop a, a comment in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a like. If you're now, if you're still new, subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you never miss out any upload, share this video. And please tell me which country you're watching me from and I'll be so happy. See you next time. Bye-bye.